the diagram shows a semicircle ABC with center O and radius 8. This is the radius 8 and the center is O right here. Now, the angle AOB is pi, sorry, it's theta radians, not pi. <laughs> okay, that's the given information that we have. Now, what can we derive? If this is pi, we understand this have to be, so if this is theta, this have to be pi minus theta. Now, pi we have to know, pi is simply 180 degrees, right? Now, let's move on. Part one, in the case of theta equal to one, so in case this is one, we have to find the area of the sector BOC. BOC, so we have to find area of this sector. Now, we have to know, area of a sector is what it is half, all square the angle, let's call this theta prime. It is the angle, okay? Now replace. Because we know this is one, so the angle will be pi minus one. So the area will be half, all square will be eight square, and angle will be pi minus one. Let's see what do we have. Half times 64 time pi minus one. That will be 6, 8.5 according to part one of the question for the area of BOC. Now for part two of the question, for the value of theta, for which, so we have to find the value of theta for which the perimeter of the sector AOB, AOB, okay, this one is half the perimeter of sector BOC. Okay, so now we don't know the value of theta. We have to find this one by one. So let's see how can we find this. So let's first write down the equation that we are given. Part two. The perimeter of AOB is equal to half, one half, uh, the perimeter of BOC. So we have this equation to solve, to find the value of theta. And the first one, how would you find the perimeter of AOB by observation? AOB is this. Now the perimeter will be this, plus this will be eight, and plus this, the length of arc. Now we know this is equal to r times theta. So again, arc length is equal to radius times the angle in between, okay? So replace, you will have, this will be eight plus eight plus eight theta, equal to half times the perimeter of BOC. BOC, so we have to add this and add this, also add this. This will be again arc length, r times theta. That will be what? r is the value of uh, 8. Theta, here is the angle in between. That will be this minus this. Okay, so let's write this down. Here we have 8 plus 8 and plus 8 pi minus theta for the perimeter of BOC. So now we have this equation. We have to solve for the value of, of theta. Okay, so we have to make them become the subject of formula. Now, here we have two, we can simplify, divide by two, that will be four, four, and four. Right, so you will have eight plus eight is 18, plus eight theta, that will be, four plus four is eight, expand you will have four pi minus four theta. Send all the theta to one side, you will have eight theta plus four, that will be 12 theta, and here we have eight, plus four theta minus 16. So theta will be what? Eight minus 16 plus four pi divided by 12, that should be 0 0.381, correct to 3SF for the value of theta. Now the exact value was 0 0.3805. This is the exact value, and we convert this to 3SF for your final value or answer for this question. Now for part three, in the case where theta equal to one over three, pi, so we know pi is 180 divided by three, that will be 60 degrees. In case where theta is 60 degrees, we have to show that the exact length of the perimeter of the triangle ABC is this. Now, where's the triangle ABC? We have A, B, and C. So let's connect those points, right? So let me just connect them. So we have triangle A, A, B, okay, and then C 
will connect with this one. Okay, cool. So we have to show that the length of the triangle ABC will be given by this one. So how would you find the perimeter of triangle ABC? By observation, we realize that one, two, three. Let me write this here. The perimeter, as we can see, have to be what? Have to be the length of AB plus BC and plus AC. That makes sense, right? We have to add the distance around the triangle. Now AC is given to you, 8 plus 8, that will be 16. Now we have to find AB and BC. So let's observe how can we find those that. Pretty easy. So for this one, AB, we have what? If you observe, we have triangle ABO. This will be this, and this will be this. This is given to you by uh, pi by 3 which is 60 degrees, you can write either way, either one of them. This is 8, this is 8, we have to find this length. So, obviously we can use a cosine rule or the sine rule, it depends which one you prefer to. Uh, I will use the cosine rule, why not? Here we have cos of 60, that will be 8 square plus 8 square minus a known, let's call it x, square, over the value of 2 times 8 times 8. So cross multiply, let's see what happens. Now cos of 60 is what? That will be, here we have to use the degrees because it shows 60, that will be 0 0.5, that will be half is equal to, this will be 8 square plus 8 square, that will be 64, that is 128 minus x square, that will be over 128. Simplify, that will be 64 again, then we cross multiply, you will have 64 equal to the value of 128 minus x square. So x square have to be 64. So finally, x have to be 8, which is this one, right? So this one, we have found out the value of AB here have to be the value of 8. Now we have to find BC. Now to find BC, again, we use the same uh, idea. We take out the triangle that we have over here. You will have this triangle. So something like this, 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 and joining them. This will be 8, 8, and this was 60 over here, so this have to be 180 minus 60, that should be 120. Okay, so how would you find this? Let's call this y. How would you find y? It will be using the cosine rule again. You can use cosine rule or sine rule depending on what you choose because now the reason why I'm saying sine rule, if you guys haven't noticed yet, is because these two are the same, which means these angles have to be the same. You can find them and then use the cosine rule. It is up to you. Now here we have, again, we have to use cosine. We have cos sine of 120. That will be uh, 8 square plus 8 square minus this over the value of 128. So simplify, cos of 120, that will be minus half, so minus 1 over 2, that should be 128 minus x squared. This. Now let's see what do we have uh, here. So we have to simplify, that will be 64, that will be um, minus 64, that will be 128 minus x squared. So x squared have to be what? 128 plus 64, that will be 192. So the root of that will be, so we don't have exact value, that should be root of 192. So basically here we know that the length of BC was found to be root of 192. Replace right here, root of 192. So we have to simplify all this to show it becomes this. So let's see if that's possible. So now what is the 192? We can simplify. First, let's add this to 8 plus 16 is what? It is 24, right? 8 plus 16 is 24. Now, plus root of 192. So, 192, it is also equal to what? Let's check. Because here we have 3 inside, let's divide by 3. 192 divided by 3 is 64. So, 3 times 64. Now, root of 192 is the same as root of 3 times 64. Same as root 3 
times root of 64. And now we know this is exactly equal to 8. You can check. Root of 64 will be 8. So it means that this will be 8 times this. So the answer will be 24 plus 8 root of 3. Okay, here you go. This will be your answer shown as required for the perimeter of triangle ABC.